Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. I have got some Dunkin' Donuts coffee this morning because I was giving my kid a ride to school and Duncan was on the way home. And I needed coffee. I don't know about y'all, but we survived the weekend, so cheers! So, I had a funny realization when I was getting coffee this morning at Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with the Northeast. Like, I'm here in Atlanta in the South. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Hi, Tam. Good to see y'all. Um, so, in the Northeast, they have Dunkin' Donuts, like, all over the place. Like, way, 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 way more than we have down here in the South. Um, not that we don't have a lot of Dunkin' Donuts, but they just, like, really like Dunkin' Donuts up North. And I went to college in Massachusetts, and I was, like, you know, a broke college student who needs lots of coffee. So we would go to Dunkin' Donuts a lot. It is a marvelous morning, isn't it, Tam? So, um, I used to always, like, they would come with these lids. Like, now if you get the bigger size, you get the different lid, but whatever. There used to always be this lid with this little tab thing you have to peel open. And I would, like, always, like, drink my coffee and get so annoyed with this tab, and I'd try and, like, hold it down to drink. And then one day, I'm there with one of my college friends, um, who was my roommate sophomore year, and she just, she says, hey, Leah, you know you can just, like, stick it down on the lid and it'll hold it. Y'all, like, that was so revolutionary for me. It was, like, this massive revelation. If I got anything out of my four years, well, actually, I only spent three years in college, but I graduated early. If I got anything out of my time at college, like, that might have been the most useful information. And I got a lot out of college. I'm, I'm, you know, I went to a really great school that taught us many things and exposed us to a lot, and I spent a year abroad. And, but still, that, that is revolutionary. So I'm hoping that all of you have something this week that is, like, a revolution, a revelation, a revolutionary experience for you because... We are in this potent Virgo season, and we have an awesome full moon at the end of the week. And there's just a lot of energy right now supporting us in moving towards um, what we're wanting and what we're creating if we are able to really move away from the past. Even the things in the past that served us, if it's not working anymore, it's got to go. And so we're being asked to move forward really open to new connections, new ideas, to really following our own sense um, based on a synthesis of our past and our experience, but without having to adhere to any, anything the way it was done before. All right, we're in collectively a very revolutionary time. So I'm hoping um, you're all kind of feeling that energy. Uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to pull, pull our cards for the week ahead. We're going to pull three cards from my Mystic Mondays Tarot deck. But um, we are going to really look at the energy that we need to bring into this full moon so we can like make the most of what's going on right now. La 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 la. Sometimes I like to sing just to clear things and call in the energy. I lit my Palo Santo before we got started today. Um, Palo Santo is just uh, an incense I'm particularly really drawn to and I love working with it. Okay, so. Ooh, the table's a little sticky right there. I think my child was eating his breakfast on it and maybe. I'm gonna finish shuffling in my lap. I wanna give it a really good shuffle this week because we're really inviting in, like what do we need to be aware of? What new energy can we invite in um, to make the most of this, this very like get it done, make some progress, Virgo season. All right, I think we're good. Ooh, yeah, we're good. Sometimes you'll feel a card like stop or when you're shuffling, you'll feel it, honor that. Okay, we're gonna lay them out one, Back to the sticky table. Two, ooh, three. All righty, y'all. Here we go. First card, starting the week off. We have five of wands. Okay, so this is a card. I call it the pick up sticks card because in one of the decks, it's like these five wands tossed in the air and you don't know where they're going to land. A lot of times, the wands are like hitting up against each other in different ways. Um, and all of the fives deal with a certain amount of chaos and conflict and tension and like sort of this sense of like, uh, 
I don't know if things are working out or not. We don't know what, what to make of this. And that's exactly where we need to be. So like, as I say, this, there's something new that's wanting to come in, but we have to let go of this inherent conflict and tension. But before we let go of it, it's almost like we gotta lean into it a little bit. A lot of times when I'm reading tarot, if I have cards, like the Two of Swords is another one that speaks to like leaning into a certain amount of tension because there's information in that. Yes, it's uncomfortable. A lot of us have a desire to like back away from that. Not everyone. Some people really like conflict and they do want to lean into it. They even want to like push other people into it. Whatever kind of person you are, doesn't matter. Now is the time to really like be present with the inherent tension in your life. So as we're moving into this week, feeling into like what parts of my life are really uncomfortable right now, what parts of my life are like triggering me right now. For me, I have this like infection in my leg that I have to deal with. <laughs> and it's like, oh, like, am I gonna die? Am I gonna go septic? Like what's happening right now? Um, and then just like kind of having to be with that and, and all of the discomfort that that brings up, so. Yeah, what's uncomfortable in your life right now that's asking for your attention? And there might be a creative opening or shift coming that you're not gonna you're not gonna find if you don't first like lean into the tension a little more or the conflict. The next card we have moving into the week is Eight of Wands. It actually showed up reversed. So normally Eight of Wands upright, it's a card of swift action. It's a card of moving with trust, taking that leap, and like letting that energy move very quickly. But hey, we've got a lot of earth energy still going on right now, and earth moves slower, usually. Um, when it's just earth by itself, not being like moved by water or air or fire, it's a slower energy. And so the fire that is the Eight of Wands, that quick, movement it's gonna be a little bit this is saying look before you leap like look let's see where we're going um so you're gonna lean into that tension and then we're gonna come to a place where it's like oh wait i'm starting to see a different possibility a different direction i'm starting to see something and i have energy to support me in moving towards that but i also don't have to rush anything i don't just have to like go all in right now, I can, I can say, hey, I'm getting all my resources focused in this direction, but that can take a little time and that's okay that it's gonna take a little time. So, where are we going into at the end of the week and with this full moon? Three of Swords, it's here again. We've had this card before. The Three of Swords is a card of really facing despair, betrayal, heartbreak, but also our perceptions of it. Cause all of the swords deal with like our mind, our beliefs. So there are beliefs that have been holding you in a place of feeling this deep sorrow or sense of betrayal. And it's keeping you from being able to fully move into what you're wanting. And so Full moons are, are really great times for a deep release. And so I would use the energy of this full moon. Um, and the full moon is going to be in Pisces. I'm pretty sure that's right. Now I'm like, huh, is it? Maybe I should look it up again. But I'm pretty sure it's a Pisces full moon. Correct me if I'm wrong here. But um, this full moon, that's like Pisces is like deep compassion. It feels things deeply. It's also like where we tap into how we're connected to all that is. And so there's something that's keeping us apart that's making us feel cut off from love and connection um, because of these stories or past actual experiences of loss, of heartbreak, of betrayal. And this card is saying it's time to let that go. All right, it's time to, to be with it, to acknowledge it, but to also say like, hey, you don't get to stop me from what I'm creating. You don't get to interfere with where I'm going. All right? All right. So, five of wands, leaning into the discomfort. Eight of wands reverse. We're gonna look before we leap, but we are gonna like actively gather our resources in the direction of where we wanna go. That might be a new direction that has become clear to us because we were able to really lean into the discomfort. And then we're gonna pull out these swords 
and move forward with a heart that might have wounds, you know? Like, I don't know anyone that hasn't had something deeply painful happen to them, right? But we in integrate that. We, we honor those wounds and we still get to move towards what we're wanting. Yay. What's Jamie saying? Ha, pulled with you and also got two wands and a sword. Oh my gosh. And a high priestess jumper. Love that. Love that high priestess. Maybe we should work on synchronized tarot. I love that. Synchronized tarot. Oh my God. We could get on zoom and do like have a bunch of readers like pulling cards and see what we all get. Oh my gosh. I'm totally going to schedule that. I'm going to make a synchronized tarot ceremony. Jamie, thank you. Let's do it. Do you want to co-facilitate that with me? Let me know. I know you have like a whole, whole lot on your plate, but like, let me know. I love that idea. Thank you. Well, I hope y'all have a great week. I hope you have a wonderful time being with yourself with what you're creating. I posted my horoscopes this week and you can also see additional astrology info over at a practical wedding because I write specific like relationship and planning focused horoscopes for them. I'm still doing my regular weekly horoscopes that you can check out. You're welcome to book private readings or sessions with me too if you're needing some extra support at this time. But do what you need to do for you this week, all right? And, and take a moment and celebrate yourself too because that's always important. Love y'all. Have a great week. Bye.